Now, pro-transparency organization Connected Development, popularly known as CODE, has called on the public to join the war against graft. Code while criticizing the effective corruption and development of public infrastructure and provision of basic amenities for the rural poor in Nigeria, stated that the menace of corruption must be tackled headlong. The executive director of Code, Hamza Lawal, commended Nigerians for taking action to ensure infrastructure meant for their communities are built and completed according to funds released. He added that citizens' action would also assist in tackling graft. When we started in 2012, we were only able to advocate for and track the release of $5.3 million that was used to save over 1,500 children's lives in Zanfara State, particularly in Bagega. But today we've tracked over $113 million. We've saved over 10 million lives and we've ensured that over 4 million children have gone back to school. Today in the communities that we've worked in, women no longer give birth and die their children get vaccinated. So, so for us, we're reducing uh, out-of-school children, we're ensuring that the future of Nigeria is bright, but most importantly, we're also contributing to the fight against corruption. What I tracked is a project that, that was donated by European Union, a healthcare facility. And it, uh, the, the way they started it, it was done in a very substandard way. So I picked interest for that project to be done well, because in that community, they have been over their years of existence without any healthcare service uh, delivery center. So, and they have been going from place to place to take care of their health. So, at that point, I followed up that project and it was duly executed with the facilities and what makes the lives of people in that place to be in a good condition. Project I track in Bra Bra, the contractor actually, start, instead of construction of a block of classroom and store, he went and started renovating, he went and started renovating uh, an, uh, an existing classroom in that area. When I came to this site for uh, this thing for tracking, I just asked the, uh, I asked the laborers if they are aware, if they know the name of the contractor. It took them a great deal of time to reveal the name of that contractor. And on inquiring, I discovered that he has gone to the laser, he has gone to laser hash to Saudi. On placing a call to him, he was surprised how I got to even know that it was actually a construction and not a renovation. The youth that we mobilized in that area were there to witness, uh, to supervise the projects. And to tell you that the completion of uh, the project has been very successful.